Going, brother. Nice one. Ready? Yep. KOR to Sports here. Abner Modest just weighed in, man. Uh, he came in at 124. What, what do you take from that? I mean, he trained hard. Uh, we knew that. I just feel like he, he trained himself to try to make weight, and he kind of overdid it. But I'm not worried about that. You know, he may wait. He may wait. That's what matters. So we got to fight. That's all it means. The face-off was intense, man. One of the be better face-offs of, of the whole thing. But what, what goes through your mind when, when, when that happens? Um, you know what? Most of the times I pay no attention to a face-off. It's just, you know, whatever. Part of the business. But, yeah, part of the business. But the way he was looking at me, I had to just stare back at him and tell, let him know that I ain't afraid, you know, that I'm here to fight him and to really do damage because you? I felt like he was trying to intimidate me. So uh, with that said, you know, there's no one that could intimidate me other than my mom and my wife, you know, and obviously God, you know. But um, another, another person like that, never. Um, I'm here to fight. I'm a fighter. And, uh, you know, we're, we're here to get, give the fans a great fight. I was just going to say, tell the fans, how does this fight end for you? When you when you play it in your mind going right before you go to bed, you know what I mean? How does this fight end? How it starts and how it ends. A boxing clinic, man. I just see, like, I'm going to box this kid, the kid's head off, and just be br brilliant that night. You know, and, and I can honestly, I see a knockout too. So uh, that's how I see it. Abner Mahdi is coming with the victory and becoming world champion once again. Abner, can't wait to watch it, man. Thank you so much for all the, all the time this week. Really, really appreciate it. Best of luck. Thank you so much.